welcome to uh, Photokina 2018. We're here at Camera Rescue Booth with Gary from Mint. Mint cameras based in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. who make uh, basically all kinds of instant uh, cameras and products. So tell us a little bit about the company, uh, Gary. Yeah, hi. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Um, it's our first time here at Photokina, and I uh, just want to thank um, Nicholas for inviting us. So uh, we first started off with the SX70, um, back in about like 2010. Uh, the SX70, for those of you who don't know, is the king of Polaroids. It folds flat. It's a SLR. Are you recording? It's just wonderful. And uh, what we did on top of the SX70 was we added a time machine, which lets you um, adjust the manual shutter speeds. So as you see, what we're, what we're actually trying to do is make instant photography more enjoyable you know um, and a little bit more proper or professional whatever like you call it just uh, like you have shutter speeds uh, aperture things like that and and then after the SX70 we, we also have another um, product that which I'm really proud of this is the uh, TL70 it's a twin lens reflex camera it shoots Instax Mini yeah, it shoots Instax Mini, yeah. Because this one's the traditional Polaroid Originals Impossible before, and then this is Instax Mini, and then you have the Instax Wide. So you almost covered everything except for the square. Basically, yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. Not okay. yet, not yet. Yeah. I, I did remember seeing uh, the, the Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. for this from Rolleiflex, mm -hmm. which you partnered with yeah. uh, to be able to share technology oh yeah we're meeting them later on oh that's great yeah, are exactly. they at the photokina with yeah. the stand they're or supposed they're... to be i saw a big that big stand on the, on the floor plan yeah okay okay yeah. so hopefully i heard that maybe down the line we'll see a square version of a rolly flex or mint yeah uh, i can't I, say I, probably or you can't say yeah uh I, I, I didn't say anything, <laughs> but sure, anything. We're, we're looking forward You're to You're not something. saying no, well, yeah. let's put it that way. <laughs> then you have the latest version of your cameras. Well, actually, this is not the latest because you released one just a few days ago, uh -huh. which is the SX uh, SLR with the flash sync, yeah, yeah. the Ming edition, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So that is that the same little computer with the flash port, or is it a whole new camera? All in one. Well, well, yeah. For, first of all, Ming, Ming is uh, our really good friend. Uh, he's a photographer. Mm -hmm. I think he he's been sticking around with uh, Mint for uh, ever since we ever we started. So he's about the same age as I, and I thought that well, like, it would be uh, really nice to like um like have have a uh, like kind of like a special edition to like um sort of like. Uh, I would say honor, but like, um, like, like for him, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and and the Ming edition is, uh, it has a, a, a flash sync over there, uh, over here actually, where you can just trigger flashes. Like a lot of people have been asking us uh, why we didn't add a a, a flash um, trigger on the um, SLR six seventy. So, yeah. So, so too many people were asking. So I, I thought, yeah, that, 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 that's. That's democratic, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, I saw you yeah. change the finishes. Instead of leather, it's metallic or uh -huh. something like that. It looks very nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It does look better in person. <laughs> Yo, one day I'll hope to see it. And then this camera was, I think, the biggest achievement after making this hole, which this is a big achievement too. But the fact that you guys manufactured the shutter, the rangefinder, it has a pop-up little flash, mm -hmm. um, and then the eject is beautifully set, so it's not just the instant click and it comes out, but you can multi-exposure. It has a flash sync port yeah. on the side here. I mean, to me, this could be very much the first medium format camera, quality-wise, mm -hmm. to be released if you guys ever decide to stick a roll of film uh -huh. in the back uh, instead of Instax. Because, um, sorry if I say this, but this will cover Instax wide, which is basically the size of medium format film. So you got the optics and the shutter ready. Mm -hmm. You just need to change the back. Yeah. So uh, I have to say, this is an amazing product, Gary. Uh, yeah. Very happy to Thank see you. it in Thank person. You. It feels great for anyone wondering. It does feel great. The viewfinder is very bright and very easy to use. Um, they even threw in um, uh, ND filters, which will close inside the camera, which you cut one over Fuji film and their GF 670, which you couldn't do that. 
So tell me, like, how did you think about making sub product like this, yeah. and how hard it has it been? Because there's been no Kickstarter. Yeah. You did sell some watches to help the funding, yeah, yeah. but how challenging was it to make from scratch? Well, well, well it, it's. Well, it's like going to, to the very beginning, after designing this camera, what we thought was, um, look, uh, th there, there have been a, a ton of instant cameras in the market, you know, from uh, back to, uh, from the 1970s. But we have to look at it, uh, the value proposition when, back in the 1970s were different than it, was, it is now. Because mm -hmm. back then, in 1970s, people used instant cameras for like commercial, and for like it was like the iPhone of the days, yeah. but now when we think of instant photography, it's more like um, it's more recreational and it's more um, for the hobbyist. So if we look at it that way, there there can be much uh, a lot of improvements to um, uh, 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 the instant cameras that were made um, like previously. So if we think of the question that way, this this is this is what 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 happens. Um, well, pe people like we, we thought people would would want uh, manual exposures. Uh, Focus, manual aperture. Yeah, manual aperture. Something that folds flat. Well, if if you if you look at this camera from a uh, like a mass market perspective, this is definitely a, a little bit too big, right? Mm -hmm. But if you look at it from like people who, who are really into instant photography, this camera is actually pretty small, pre pretty compact. It's and it's, it's nice and fold. And once you yeah. fold it, it fits in your bag. It can fit on the side. You, uh, Gary and Joe, his partner had it hanging like a little, you know, camera, yeah. which is great. It's the size of a book, basically, it's, yeah. I, I have to say, it's very ergonomic. It feels great, weight-wise, it feels nice. So, I mean, I think you guys have a great great little project here. I'm glad to see it in person. Yeah, thank you. And that it looks awesome. This unit will be, thanks to Gary, in my hands for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, I'll show guys everything I can think. Um, another thing to note, it has a exposure, so you can use automatic exposure, or you can manually expose with an external light meter and all yeah. that, which is great. Definitely. The definitely. ND filters come handy when the sun's coming out. Uh -huh. So yeah, tripod mount. I mean, I don't think there's anything you guys didn't think about. Yeah. Uh, what kind of battery does it use? It uses uh, two AA batteries. Yeah. Even the batteries are easy mm -hmm. to find. Yeah. So that's great. So yeah, um, I yeah, think I you think guys... We took a picture. Do you want to show, 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 oh, show yeah, the audience? Oh yeah, Jordan, can yeah. you give us the little picture? Just to give them a perspective of how big the uh, actual size is. So, so, like so that uh, is uh, the size of Instax um, wide, which a lot of people haven't seen. But Instax wide is a less, fo probably a less uh, a uh, popular yeah, size popular. in the consumer market. Mm -hmm but it's the biggest and it's the same price per shot. So I always say, yeah. if you're gonna be shooting Instax film at a dollar approximately a shot, why not have double? Yeah, definitely. And, and, and you know, instant film, is a, it, it's not exactly cheap, you know, especially compared to like digital. Mm -hmm. So you want a better camera to take, you know, like, it's like, how much is it? Like uh, half a euro per shot? I'm not sure. It's around almost a euro. Uh -huh. Yeah. Approximately. Yeah. I, 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 my head says one euro per shot. Uh -huh. It might be 80 cents or 75 yeah. cents. But yeah, I mean, I use this as a family camera. It's, they sit great on your wall. They're great to take pictures, to scan for social media. Um, so yeah, I think, and the thing is, what a lot of people haven't yeah. noticed when you guys built this camera is the aperture was 5.6. If you think about medium format and you want to get that depth of field, you're going to need a lens that's 5.6. Uh, Mamiya 7, which is very similar in size and coverage, would be an f4. Uh, yes, we have the Pavel Machina, which had a 2.8, but then it's razor thin. So if you want to have something fun that will always give you good results, I'm guessing 5.6 is a great start. Yeah. The, depth of, yeah, the depth of field is uh, equivalent to uh, something like f F uh, 2.0 in 135. Is this not something that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, it's ISO 800 film for uh -huh. the Instax, so it's a, it's a good compromise, I think. Uh -huh. So, um, anything in the future lineup of Mint that you can share ideas? Because you seem to not be able to stay stay still <laughs> on making products. So, this was the start. This was the second product. This was your third. Yeah. Now you came with a special edition uh, Ming camera for that. 
Is there anything you could share about where Mint is going? Yeah, de definitely. I, th I think, uh, yeah, going back to your question uh, about 120, uh, using 120 on um, the art set. Yeah, we, we, th there is a possibility, but uh, it's not exactly our expertise um, because we're more, uh, we, we, we know more about instance more than, you know, film and there mm -hmm. are, you know, a ton of guys like you guys um, who know, uh, you know, one, like 120, 135 film much mm -hmm. better than us. So I think we're going to stick to instant film. But uh, as you can see, you know, the natural progression would be, you know, mini, uh, wide, and then the next thing would be square. definitely square. Yeah, we would definitely work on, we're, actually we are working on something that's uh, pretty exciting, I, I, I'd say. Um, um, yeah, but uh, it, it would always be uh, like a, like a, like, like, like a, a car where you have, um, no, people like auto, auto transmission, but they mm -hmm. also like to enjoy, you know, manual transition. Yeah, so they're always yeah. gonna have a bit of both. You can do the simple and easy, or the I want to yeah. complicate my photography a bit more. Exactly, um, exactly. So, you guys have been making this. I mean, I have to say, amazing product line. Amazing to see the products in hand. This has been sold in pre-orders. At yeah. the at the beginning, you're already been shipping them. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you shipped all yet, but. When will it be in normal production that people can order it? Yeah, and I, and I, and I think it's a good time here to you know, update the guys who pre-ordered. Um, yeah, it, it's taking some time, but we're getting there. So far, we've been, uh, we already shipped out one-third of all the uh, pre-orders, uh, and we're planning to ship all of them out uh, before you know, the holiday season, which is uh, November. And the price when it's officially in stock will still be the same as when it was a pre-order because this was a sub uh, under a thousand dollars if I'm not wrong, eight hundred or something. Yeah, there. in euros. Yeah, my my, my mind is all bogged up right now, but it's something like uh, eight nine nine or nine nine nine. Um, I, 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 I forgot exactly, but then um, yeah, it's gonna be the the, the, the real thing. It's gonna be a little bit uh. Uh, a higher, higher yeah, than but, the pre-order, uh, just just a little bit. Uh, just a okay. Little, well, yeah. it's a great price for a product that you've basically yeah. made out of scratch. Yeah, we want pe more people to be able to. Uh, uh, no, I'm sure yeah, use enjoy it. it. Yeah. So yeah, Gary, thank you yeah. so much. For thank you so much. Meeting us at Porokina. Yeah. Thank you, Nicholas. Good luck with all your uh, amazing products. I hope one day you do think about uh, roll film, not only Instax, but. It's good to know that you are made a shutter and you made it, it's possible, uh -huh. uh, with a small team yeah. in Hong Kong and a Just lot of ideas. Just people, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's yeah. amazing. Okay. So thank you very much, thank you so much. Uh, Gary, yeah, thank you. and thank you, guys. Uh, enjoy Parokina. Yeah, you too.